Sometimes you make a mistake and you need to rip back your work. So you're unraveling and unraveling and unraveling and at some point you need to put your stitches back on the needle. So you're just gonna jam them back on your needle, right? Wrong, what are you, a Neanderthal? There's a right way and a wrong way to unravel your work and put it back on the needles. I'll show you three ways to do it in this video. When you're unraveling your yarn and you're putting your stitches back onto your needle, it's really important to make sure that your stitches are not twisted. All right, so what does it mean to have a twisted stitch? All right, let's take a look here. I'm gonna take one of my stitches off my needle and let's just take a look at the anatomy of a stitch, okay? So let's make this guy really clear here. So I've taken my stitch off the needle and you can see that a stitch is basically just a loop, right? And the loop consists of a right side and a left side. Okay, so for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna call this the right leg and this side, the left leg. You can kind of think of your stitch as like, you know, the leg of a cowboy, okay? Like a bow-legged cowboy or a cowgirl, okay? So you wanna make sure that the right leg of your cowgirl is always on the front of your needle, okay? This is my right leg my cowgirl's right leg, and I'm gonna make sure that the right leg is on the front, just like this, okay? So when the right leg is in the front of the needle, then that means that our stitch is untwisted, it is good to go, it is correctly seated on our needle, okay? So if our left leg is in the front of the needle, like, let's do that right now, this would be the left leg. If the left leg was sitting in the front, then our stitch is twisted, okay? And you can kind of see that it's not really sitting very evenly on my needle, right? And if I try to knit into it, it's gonna have a little bit of resistance. It won't feel very natural because the stitch is twisted, all right? So don't get it twisted. Make sure that the right leg, let's take a look again, the right leg of your stitch is on the front of the needle, okay? So here we go, let's put it back on and yeehaw, we are ready to go, okay? So that's our untwisted stitch. All right, so let's say I wanted to unravel or unknit like a couple stitches. So I'm not unraveling like multiple rows. Let's say I wanted to go from this stitch yeah, over to here, okay? So like four stitches or so. Okay, so how would we unravel those stitches? Well, what I would do is I would take my left needle and go into the stitch directly below my active stitch. So these stitches are live on my needle and the stitch right here is right underneath my live stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna take my needle, my left needle, and go into the stitch. I'm gonna go right into it from the front to the back and then take that stitch off of my needle and then pull the working yarn and now that stitch is on my left needle. The right leg is in the front, as you can see, which is exactly what we want. So let's take a look here. Here's the stitch. This is the right leg and it should be in the front. And it just was, okay? So let's do that again. I'll take my left needle and go directly into the stitch below my uh, active stitch. So I'm just kind of stabbing into it from the front to the back like this. Take my needle off and then pull my working yarn loose. And now that stitch is on my left needle and the right leg is in the front. Okay, perfect. So we can keep on going for a couple stitches. Here is my uh, stitch below. So I'm gonna stab into it, take my needle off and undo the yarn. Okay, here is my stitch below. Stab right into it, take my needle off and unravel. So this is a great way to just unravel or unknit a couple stitches. All right, so let's say I wanna rip back multiple rows. So I wanna rip all the way back to the stockinette stitch portion. So the second method is a bit high risk because your stitches are loose and they're off the needles. So there's a risk that they could drop and that your stitches will be lost. But if your yarn holds its shape really well and it's not too slippery, then you could definitely try this method. So what you would do is literally just pull your needle off of your knitting and now our stitches are just kind of live. They're in a dangerous, precarious position. 
but um, you know, the stitches are keeping their shape, right? They're not like slippery and disappearing. So what I would do is, is just literally unravel it. When I get near the point where I wanna pick up my stitches is take a thinner needle like this, and then just kind of pick up my stitches, okay? So I'm gonna turn my yarn around and I'm going to just haphazardly pick up those stitches. I just wanna rescue them at this point because they're loose and they're in the wild and you know I don't want them to unravel. And I'm not trying to make sure that the stitches are untwisted or anything. I'm just concerned with rescuing these stitches and getting them on the needle so that they are not loose. We're on a rescue mission and we're just picking up those stitches. And here's my last stitch, perfect, okay. So now my stitches are on a rescue needle, okay, on a little lifeboat needle, um, but they are definitely twisted. Some of them are twisted, some of them are not. I'm going to turn my work over and now we're gonna transfer these rescued stitches onto my needle and we'll make sure that they are untwisted. So now I'll transfer my stitches from my safety needle to my regular needle so I can start knitting. I can start transferring from this safety needle to my regular needle this way, but because the needle I'm knitting with has a stopper at the end, what will happen if I do it that way is that my working yarn will end up being close to my stopper, okay? So how am I gonna knit with my working yarn like that, right? What I need is for my working yarn to be closer to the tip of my needle. So what I'm gonna do is start picking up stitches from the back, okay? So I'm gonna turn my work over so that when I pick up stitches this way, when my stitches have all migrated over to my big needle, my working yarn will be at the tip of my needle, which is what I want. Now, if you're using circular needles or double pointed needles, then it doesn't really matter, but because I'm using a flat needle with a stopper, um, the direction that I pick up my stitches in does matter. Okay, so I'm gonna get started picking up these stitches. I'm going to make sure that my stitches are untwisted as I pick them up. Okay, so this stitch here is untwisted because the right leg is in the front. So I'm just gonna pick it up like this. And this next stitch is also untwisted because the right leg is in the front. Same with this third stitch, doing pretty good so far. All right, now this stitch here is twisted and I can tell because the left leg of the stitch is in the front of the needle. So I'm gonna untwist it by taking my right needle and going into the back of the stitch um, and when, you, when I do that, you can see that the right leg is now in the front of my needle, right? So again, I'm gonna go from the back of the stitch and then just pick it right off, okay? So pretty easy, right? All right, this next stitch is untwisted. Cool, so let's just move it over. This next stitch is twisted. So I'm gonna take my right needle, go into the stitch from the back to the front, just like that, and pick it off. And now you can see that the right leg is in the front of the needle, which is what I want, so it's untwisted. Okay, this guy is untwisted, this guy is twisted, so I'm gonna go from the uh, back to the front and pick it off, and now it's untwisted. Cool, now if this sort of picking it up from the back to the front is confusing to you, what you can do is manually untwist it. So this next stitch is twisted. So what you can do is literally take that stitch off of your needle, turn it around, put it back onto your needle. Now this stitch is untwisted and I can just move it over, okay? So those are two ways that you can untwist your stitch. And let's see, this guy is twisted. So again, I can manually untwist it just like that put it over to my needle and untwisted so it moves over untwisted cool so now my stitches have moved from my safety needle onto my regular needles and the working yarn is close to the point now my stitches are untwisted and i can continue knitting Okay, so this third method for unraveling is also the safest method. And what we're gonna do is take a separate needle that's like a little bit thinner than the needle that you're using to knit with and pick up the right leg of each stitch on a row, okay? And then once we've picked up those stitches on you know, the row that we wanna rip back to, we're going to unravel the yarn and 
you'll see that the knitting magically stops at the row where we've inserted our needle. Okay, so that sounds kind of complicated, so let's just get into it and I'll show you how it works. So let's say I want to rip back my work down to like this row. So what I would do is I would take my needle and I'm going to go into the right leg. Let's see, sometimes your eyes will get kind of blurry, but let's see, can I do it? Yes, I can. Okay, so that's the right leg and you can see that the stitch is made up of a v-shape right so i want to go into the right leg of that v-shape here we go and if you're worried that like you might not go into the right row like you might go up a row or down a row your needle kind of just points you to the next stitch over okay so here's the right leg of our uh stitch and we're just going straight across okay so here we go, just picking up that right leg. And if you ever get sort of confused or your eyes are blurring, just you know, step back from your knitting for a second, glance outside um, and let your eyes kind of unblur. I find that that helps me a lot. Here's my last stitch, cool. So I'm gonna push my needle through and it looks kind of funny, but you can see that my stitches are kind of held by this little needle here. So now is the moment of truth. This is gonna be pretty interesting. I'm gonna take my big needle off. Ugh, there we go. Now my stitches are live and I'm gonna start unraveling just like this. And you will see that my stitches will stop at the uh, break needle. This is pretty cool. Pulling, pulling, pulling and pulling 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 and oh my goodness what's happening here dun, 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 dun. okay so our stitches i think i've maybe put in my stitch my uh, needle a little bit too in the stitch above but let's just unravel this and here it's always a little bit trickier at the edge but here we go cool so our break needle did what it was supposed to do. Now all of our stitches, our live stitches, are on this little needle and they are safe. There was really never a moment where my stitches could have gotten lost. And now I can transfer them back onto the big needle and continue knitting. So this third method is a really nice way to unravel your yarn so that your yarn is untwisted. The right leg is in front of the needle and it also keeps your stitches safe. That little needle is holding onto your stitches so that they're never really loose. And lastly, you can be very exact and unravel to the precise row that you want. So there you go, three ways to unravel your stitches. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then give it a big thumbs up. And if you love this video, consider subscribing. I'm Davina from SheepAndStitch.com. Happy unraveling, don't get it twisted, and I'll see you next time. Bye.